Hello there, my name is Fiona. I'm one of the team here at PTFS Europe. And what's on my mind today is linked accounts in Aspen and how these can be um, used within your library service and be very beneficial to your library users. Now, essentially, linked accounts just do, do that. They allow you to link together accounts for, for single management. So in public libraries, for example, this can be really useful for um, families. So the, the parents can link their children's accounts to them so they can manage their account activity. It can also be really useful in um, for, for carers and you know, for, for grandparents and so on, but it can be used in other organisations as well. So, for example, within academic environments, linking together um, sets of, of students or in sort of legal libraries, perhaps you've got, you know, different levels of users that you want to link together. So it can really be used for any purpose. So I'm going to start by showing you how you enable it and then I'll give you an example of how it could be used. So I'm going to sign in as an administrator into Aspen. And from our Aspen administration area, I want to go down to the primary configuration and then go into our library settings. Now, what you now see is the, the different themes that you have set up on your system. So if you are, a, a, a library that uses multiple themes of Aspen. So perhaps you're a public library that have different branches and part of a consortium that each, each consortium member has its own interface. You can set up your configuration for, for linked accounts to be um, different. So if, if some members of the consortium want to have linked accounts, they can switch it on whilst others don't. So we select our um, relevant theme and then when we scroll down a little bit further, we've got the subheadings and under ILS account integration, you've got a link here to allow the linked accounts. So we can see that that's switched on for this interface. So we are going to be able to, to use that. So I'm now just going to log out and log in as a library user this time. So we'll sign in as myself as a library user. And my account has two-factor authentication enabled on it. So I'll just uh, get the email with my code. Now, it's up to individual users if they enable two-factor authentication on, on their account in Aspen, um, and that's done through the, the account settings here. So what I am, just to take you through, the account settings area here, we've got linked accounts. Now you can see from the linked accounts here that nobody else currently can view my account. However, as a user, I can view both of these accounts here. So these are my children. So we can we can link me as a, as a parent to my children and I can remove them at any time as well. Now it's really useful to, to be able to, to do this and to be able to see what's um out on loan and the, the circulation activity of your linked accounts. So I'll come back into this area in just a moment. But if I have a look at checked out titles, for example, you can see that this top one here is checked out to F Borthwick. So that's checked out to me. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see that this magic finger is checked out to I Borthwick. That's one of my linked accounts. And the one above it, the dinosaur Bob, that's linked in, linked, uh, checked out to another linked account to the eBorthwick. Now, because I can see my children's checkouts, I can renew these items if I want. I can see the activity is overdue and I can renew them. I can also see um, titles on hold. So if I come into the titles on hold area, again, this top one here, you can see is on hold for eBorthwick. Um, the next one down is on hold for F Borthwick and so on. Okay, so again, so just allow me to manage that. And if I have a look at money owing, you can see here that it's also broken down. So you can see that F Borthwick owes this amount. I Borthwick does not have any fines within the system and E Borthwick does. So as a parent, I can see the items that my 
uh, children have checked out, I can renew their material, I can see items that they've got on hold, I can pay their fines and so on. In addition, I have um, access into the digital library card. So from the, the menu, your account menu, click on your library card, it defaults to my one. And then you've got your linked cards as well. So I can borrow on behalf of them using this digital card as well. Now, in order to be able to link the accounts, you do need to know the login credentials of the users. So you're not able to just link any account to yours. You do need to have um, the user uh, login and password. So to show you how that works, I'm going to come back into linked accounts and then I'm going to add an account here. So let's link another family member in to, to mine. So I'll just have to put their username in and their password. So obviously I do need to know the password and I can just add that account in there. And it tells me now that's successfully linked the account and it adds that third account to manage on, onto here. And again, just if I now go back into the library card, you can see it's automatically added that third card for me. Now, what happens when you link a card is that a link an account is that the other person gets a notification as well. So I'll just show you how that works. So if I sign out, and this time I'll sign in as one of my linked accounts. Okay, so again, username, password. And you can see that right at the top, when this user logs in, they've got other accounts have linked to your account. Do you want to continue allowing them to link to you? And you can click on yes, you can go to manage your linked account. When I go to manage the linked account there, you can see that this user doesn't um, have any additional accounts to manage, but they can see that I can view their account and they've then got the option to, to remove and stop that as well. And they can disable account linking um, entirely from their account. So that's just a few examples of how um, it works. Uh, you can also, when you're placing reservations on the system, you can also choose which account that, that hold is for. So any linked accounts will display in the drop down for you. So it's a, it's a nice feature uh, if used um, carefully, but as I say, it can be really beneficial for, for managing um, family account members and so on. So I hope you found that useful and thank you very much. We'll see you next time.